Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing a relatively famous nova, a nova located approximately 5,000 light years away from us, and a discovery from this nova that sort of surprised the scientists. This particular nova is known as R.S. Ophiuchus, with a new discovery suggesting that this nova is able to produce extremely powerful cosmic rays, something that's never been seen before from anywhere else in the galaxy or in other galaxies. But something that the scientists believe might happen around other NOAA, it just we probably haven't really looked hard enough. So let's discuss this discovery and this NOAA, mostly because this is probably the most iconic NOAA known to us, the NOAA that repeats approximately every 15 years. And the most recent eruption was actually predicted by several scientists, and it happened in 2021. So first of all, what kind of a system is this? Well, just like with a lot of other NOAA, this is essentially a white dwarf just a little bit more massive than our own sun that you see right there, and a much larger star, an M-type red giant that's slowly growing in size and whose mass is slowly being absorbed, because its much more dense partner is slowly stealing the mass, creating the accretion disk, and then creating the formation you see right here. And as the mass transfers from one object to the other, the smaller object, the white dwarf, eventually reaches the point where a lot of the hydrogen from the larger star starts to accumulate on its surface. It actually sort of creates a kind of a very thin layer that you can almost refer to as an atmosphere. And this atmosphere starts to become denser and denser, and eventually reaches the point where the fusion starts to happen as well because of the extremely high temperatures and very, very high pressures. This results in a nuclear reaction. It results in a fusion reaction, which produces a very powerful explosion, which can last for anywhere from a few weeks to possibly even a few months. And this increases the brightness of the star quite dramatically for quite a long time. This is actually why these particular phenomena are known as nova. Back in the days when the early astronomers saw these new stars appearing in the night skies, they actually thought these were new stars. Nova in Latin means new, and so they refer to these events, these phenomena, as nova without really realizing what they're looking at. Today we know that these types of nova, which seem to happen at least a few times per year in our galaxy, and this by the way is the image of R.S. Afiuki seen back in 2006, seem to be very common events, and they also seem to produce events that are repetitive, meaning that they do repeat after a few years. In some cases it's easy to predict the next event, but in most cases, it actually might be hundreds or even thousands of years apart, so today there's really no good way to predict when the next event is going to happen. But for this nova, the scientists have developed a technique with the average time between explosions being roughly around 15 years, with the first official detection being in 1898, and the most recent detection being in 2021. And so, in August of 2021, a Brazilian astronomer, Alexander Amorim, completely by accident, discovered a new outburst of this particular nova. And within only a few hours, almost everyone tuned in to see what's actually happening here in order to discover how this nova progressed. And one of the telescopes that tuned in to see what's happening here is the iconic Fermi telescope able to observe gamma rays. And almost right away, Fermi started to detect different types of gamma rays coming from this region. In most cases, gamma rays usually come from protons that are accelerated to very, very high velocities and start to release a lot of energy. But all of this had to be confirmed by something else. And in this case, it was confirmed by a very interesting system known as MAGIC. It's a type of a telescope known as the Cherenkov telescope. And it works on a principle of detecting Cherenkov radiation in the upper atmosphere. So when an extremely powerful particle, in this case a typical cosmic ray, strikes the upper atmosphere, it starts to release a tremendous amount of subatomic particles. It creates a kind of a shower of different particles, and some of them end up producing very powerful gamma rays, which when entering the atmosphere, start to produce Cherenkov radiation. Or essentially, they make the atmosphere itself glow just a little bit, enough to be detected by a telescope. This is the type of radiation we usually detect around very powerful nuclear reactors, when the speed of electrons, for example, is actually faster than the speed of light in this medium, in this case, the speed of light in the water. And so by detecting the Cherenkov radiation in the upper atmosphere, the two magic telescopes were able to collaborate and confirm the production of gamma rays by very powerful cosmic rays coming from this nova. 
suggesting that some of the most powerful energy ever seen from a nova was produced by this event in 2021. And most likely produced by very powerful shockwaves coming from the nova itself, with these very powerful particles being accelerated by the magnetic fields present in the system and creating these very powerful cosmic rays as a result. And that's of course a little bit unusual for one reason. Normally, cosmic rays require something very, very powerful, such as an extremely powerful supernova involving a lot of magnetic interaction and a lot of different types of shock waves, or more often, some kind of a powerful interaction inside a supermassive black hole or around a supermassive black hole in the center of a galaxy, normally involving very powerful accretion disks with a lot of magnetic fields and a lot of astrophysical jets involved. In other words, cosmic rays were never expected to come from smaller events, such as Nova, which are not believed to be powerful enough to produce this. But this event in 2021 clearly showed that that's not the case. It showed that cosmic rays can also come from Nova and can generate very powerful gamma rays as a result. And it also means that a lot of cosmic radiation coming to our planet could be coming from various Nova as well, not just from supernova or powerful black holes. But I guess it's going to take a while before the scientists can confirm this or before the scientists can find other nova that are able to produce this. More importantly, when it comes to this particular nova, here is when the previous detections happened in the last 100 years or so. And the next one is expected to be sometime in mid-2030s. So it's definitely going to take a while before we can see this again and before the scientists can confirm this or detect something else unusual around R.S. Ophiuchi. But in terms of other nova, the scientists are also getting a little bit closer to understanding how often they usually happen and what generally drives the repetition of certain nova compared to some other nova. So for example, when it comes to how often a nova is going to repeat itself, the biggest predictor seems to be the mass of the actual system. The powerful gravity here seems to play a really large role, and the more mass of the white dwarf, the less fuel it's going to require in order to erupt and in order to create a powerful nova, which suggests that the higher the mass of the white dwarf, the more likely it's going to have a shorter interval. And in the case of R.S. Afiuki, it's believed to be a white dwarf that's about 1.2 masses of the sun. That's actually not very far off from the limit of how massive white dwarfs can get. Which of course makes this one of the more rare examples of very frequent nova producers. There aren't actually that many of them out there that have been discovered so far. In most cases, nova just happen once and are generally not seen again for hundreds or even thousands of years. At least that's the theoretical prediction. But in the last few years, the scientists have also discovered that nova are actually extremely important for one simple reason. They seem to be extremely effective producers of what's known as lithium, an extremely important element that we generally associate with typical batteries. But lithium is used in a lot of things in nature and its origin has always been a little bit mysterious. And so it looks like a lot of lithium, or possibly most lithium in the universe, has actually been produced in these unusual events by various nova around us. And also one of the bigger surprises when it comes to nova is why is it that there are so many nova happening in the Andromeda galaxy compared to, for example, some other nearby galaxies such as Triangulum. In this case, in Andromeda alone, there seem to be up to 20 or even 30 different nova every single year. And the actual reasons for this are currently unknown. And so even today there are still quite a lot of questions and quite a lot of mysteries in regards to this somewhat ancient phenomenon. The phenomenon that seems to involve always a white dwarf and some kind of a red giant, with the white dwarf in this case always stealing the mass and then exploding as a result, producing just enough luminosity to be seen from very far away distances. But looks like any other questions we have about Nova and any other mysterious observations we might have about them are going to most likely be answered by the next eruption of Arasa Fuiki. The eruption that's been happening on the clock every 15 years and is going to definitely happen in 2030s as well. And by then, if the telescopes improve just enough, we might be able to see even more detail that was previously unavailable to us. But I guess until new discoveries or until we find something else, check out the paper in the description below along with all of the relevant links, subscribe, maybe share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else. Support the channel Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.